All right, so occasionally Skep Gandy likes to challenge me to, like, really weird formats, and this time he decided to come to my stream and challenge me to a monotype match that was also a Generation Wars match. So basically, I have to use a monotype team that's only Pokemon from one generation, and actually, it's not as easy as it sounds because there's, like, there's a... If you take a look at it, any particular generation, there's really, like, um not a whole lot of Pokemon... Like, not a whole lot of types are possible in most generations, because you need six reasonably good Pokemon. So I actually just like, sat on random.org and uh, kind of re-rolled... I, I first rolled my generation, and then I rolled, like, five you know, five different types. So finally, I'm like, okay, psychic types are doable in Gen 3. So let's give that a shot. While he's going to actually get, or rather, go for fighting types. So actually, this is a really nice matchup for me, right? Um, and he's obviously going to use Gen 5, which has actually quite a bit of uh, powerful fighting types. The only thing I really have to worry about is that... um. Scrafty, which of course is a dark type. So I'm gonna go ahead and lead with Metagross, and uh, Metagross is a uh, pretty nice lead because I have Stealth Rex on this guy, so I'm just gonna go for it as uh, Skep Gandy leads with his Socks. So, um, yeah, I know that obviously i uh, neutral to fighting, so he could potentially do some nice damage here, but I just kind of really want to set up my Stealth Rocks. And about speeding this thing, Socks not that fast. He ends up having the Earthquake, so uh, yeah, it's gonna be super effective. But thankfully, it's not Stamp, so I know I can live it, and I do. With just a little bit of HP, not as much as I would have liked due to that uh, life orb. But I know that I outspeed, so I'm just going to try to go for the uh, Zen Headbutt, the Stab Zen Headbutt, to try to take this guy out. Um, and it is indeed going to be able to take out the Sock. Uh, makes me wonder if I just would have went for that first, but I really wanted my rocks up. Um, even though his team, entire team resists rocks, actually. So maybe that was not a smart play, but whatever. I get some mini skill damage on Switch in now, so I, I don't know. That's actually, you know, in hindsight, probably not a great play. Whatever. Um, he's just going to go for the Hydro Pump against my Metagross. It's going to take me out, and uh, that's sad. But it is what it is. And I'm going to go to my Jirachi. And I'm thinking, okay, he's not going to let me in, stay in and, like, Zen Headbutt him, but he ends up staying in and letting me, or <laughs> let me U-turn. I end up critting. That's kind of pointless. But, um, yeah, it's uh, interesting that he decided to stay in. I didn't think he would want to lose his Keldeo. But, um, yeah, he's just going to go for the uh, Hydro Pump, and I'm like, I better just go in a Latias because I have that resist. And, uh, yeah, I'm wondering if he's going to switch out now. Um, and yeah, he does, so that's pretty neat. He's going to go out to his Embor, and Embor obviously has Reckless, so it has, uh, it's pretty scary with Flare Blitz. I just go for a Draco Meteor. Unfortunately, I don't connect with it, and, uh, yeah, that really sucks, because I would have been able to do pretty nice damage to that Embor, and I'm just going to go for it now. I would really like to get rid of this Embor, and it survives with, like, 1 HP. He said it was actually exactly 1 HP. And he's going to go ahead and head smash me. So he doesn't even need the Flare Blitz because obviously I resist that. So he just head smashes me. Um, and I do live not very well. This is actually a pretty bulky Latias. So it's pretty impressive damage. He's going to go ahead and kill himself. But that was actually pretty much worth it. Now uh, Scrafty can't have um, can't have Pursuit. So I don't think so. I um, feel pretty safe switching out here. Although he could easily just knock off me. But I kind of think he's going to like yeah do that. Dragon Dance. And I don't want to give him any free Dragon Dances with a minus two Latias. So here I'm just kind of like hoping that maybe I can get a flinch. I go for the Iron Head, and I don't. So, Serene Grace be damned. Ah, Jirachi, you suck. Oh well, so my Jirachi goes down, and uh, yeah, like I said, this thing's really scary. So he has a Dragon Dance, and now he has a Moxie. I'm going to go into my um, Choice Scarf Latios, which obviously can still outspeed. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and Draco Meteor this thing, because it's really scary, and it just needs to die. So I Draco Meteor this thing, and down goes his Crafty, which... Honestly, it's probably his most dangerous thing to me because of its dark typing. Uh, but yeah, in comes his Conkel Dur now, and this thing is uh, really strong too. In fact, I'm kind of fearing an Assault Vest set. Um, I don't want to lose my Latios, so I'm just going to go out of my Latias, who is nearly dead, so it's probably just a better sack. He's going to go ahead and knock me off, but that's fine. Uh, because, like I said, I was just sacking it off. I knew he would go for the knockoff. I need to go into um, a Psychic type that can kill this thing. Um, however, I noticed that he's life orb, so it's not Assault Vest. That makes me feel a lot better about being able to kill it here with Gardevoir. Um, so I'm just going to come in here, and I go for the Psy Shock, because I have the Psy Shock instead of Psychic on this thing, unfortunately. Um, but I'm just going to go for it, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to hope that it KOs this here Conkelter, and indeed it does. So that was pretty obvious, actually, because it stabbed, and he doesn't have... Well, if he did have Assault Vest, then it wouldn't have mattered, because it's Psy Shock. Anyway, in comes... Turakian, which is obviously one of the scariest things ever. Um, and he's gonna outspeed me, because he outspeeds me naturally, and just goes for the stun and kills me. So I don't know if this thing's like Choice Bandit, Choice Scarf, it might even be Z-Move for all I know. 
Let's go to my Latios because I outspeed. And again, I have Psy Shock, not Psychic, so I go for it. If only I had freaking Psychic, because this Karakian lives with 1 HP. And then Stone Edge is me. And down goes Latios, which now I'm legitimately scared. All I have left is this pig. Um, uh, but he misses the Stone Edge. Come on, Grump Pig. You little grumpy thing. I cannot lose. I have Psychic against fighting. I would never live it down. So I kill that. His last Pokemon is Keldeo. Um, I don't know if this thing is strong enough because this is like a weird, bulky, T waving set. In fact, I think Psychic is my only attacking move. I know I can live one Hydra Pump, but with that damage, I'm not going to be able to live two. Psychic does not kill the Keldeo. Another red HP survive, and I am now screwed, except. Grumpig the God. Grumpig the God with two dodges. Once again, Stone Edge. Once again, Hydro Pump. And the Psychics win against the fighting, but uh, vary by the skin of their teeth. Although, in my defense, yeah, you got, you guys can say. Um, because, you know, honestly, I got two misses there at the end. But I missed a Draco Meteor earlier. And uh, I wouldn't have taken all that damage on Latio, Latios had I hit that. Because I would have been able to kill that Embor, even if it didn't. You know, I would have been able to rent, you know, he would have been weak enough that I could have killed him with Latios before he had a head smash on me. So, so there. So there. But anyway, good game, Skip Candy. Uh, I don't know if I would recommend this format um, in the future, but, you know, it is what it is. It was kind of fun for, like, one time. Anyway, today's question of the day is going to be, what is, in your opinion, the strongest type in any generation? So you can go back to previous generations. As for me, I, I don't see how you can cho not choose psychic types in generation one. Um, you know, because Psychic types were just, in my mind, completely OP. Uh, they were super effective against Poison, uh, which was an incredibly common type in Gen 1. And, uh, moreover, it had no weaknesses. <laughs> like, the only type, Bug-type move that was worth anything was, like, Twin Needle. Um, in fact, that might have been the only Bug-type attacking move, and I think, it, it was it? I think it might actually be a bit, but it, it's the only one that's, like, worth anything. Um, and then... Even, Lick is the only ghost-type move, but there was actually a bug. Even if there wasn't for this bug, there's actually a bug in the game that actually makes ghost moves do no damage to Psychic-type Pokemon. Um, so even if ghost was super effective, though, Lick is the only, you know, ghost-type move in that generation. And then nothing else is... It's, they're weak to nothing else in that generation, because Dark-type wasn't a thing yet. Um, and they hit everything super hard, except for themselves. So, kind of an OP-type... Definitely an OP type. They definitely uh, corrected that in Gen 2. In fact, they might have actually um, over-nerfed it. You know, uh, obviously Dark types being immune, Steel types resisting, and they picked up, um, you know, obviously the Dark weakness. They gave Bug some stronger moves, and they gave Ghost some stronger moves, including Shadow Ball. So, yeah, I'll leave a comment about that and see you guys again next time. Later!